Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the green zone and gained 39.31 points or 0.74%, settling at 5,355 points. Market turnover was 5.76 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is an increase of 20.10% compared to the previous trading day. Brack Bank, Jamuna Bank and Pubali Bank from the banking sector, United Power Generation, Tita's Gas Transmission and Kona Power Company from the fuel and power sector, and Ramin Fund, Rabi Axiata and Bangladesh Submarine Cables from the telecommunications sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, all the sectors posted a gain today in which the fuel and power sector registered the highest gain of 2.75 percent, while the textile sector posted the second highest gain of 2.03 percent. Four textile, four industrial and three fuel and power companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Western Marine Shipyard, Amman Feed and Kona Power Company registered the highest gain while Tos Rifa Industries Limited, Runner Automobiles and Global Heavy Chemicals were the top losers today. Western Marine Shipyard experienced a significant surge in share price today following its Q3 earnings report release, where it reported a 200% higher EPS for 2024 compared to 2023. Runner Automobile share prices saw a sharp decline today following its Q1 earnings dissemination, where the company reported a negative EPS for 2024. Although the EPS improved compared to 2023, it remained in negative territory, likely falling short of investor expectations and prompting the drop in share price. Tosrifa industries also experienced a significant decline in their share prices today following its Q1 earnings report release where it reported a negative 79% EPS growth. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of City General Insurance, Argon Denims and Desh General Insurance increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Argon Denims experienced a significant surge in trading activity today following its Q1 financial circulation, where it reported a positive 55% EPS growth. This stronger earnings performance likely fueled increased investor interest and trading volume. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Top two news today. The IMF has advised Bangladesh Bank to address the second round effects of inflation, where rising prices drive wage demands and further price hikes embedding inflation in the economy. IMF Asia Pacific Deputy Director Thomas Helbling noted that although Although recent inflation is mainly supply-driven, central bank intervention is crucial to curb lasting impacts. Despite gradual policy rate hikes, Bangladesh's inflation remains elevated, exceeding 9% since March 2023 and reaching 10.87% in October, driven by soaring food prices like rice and vegetables. Government borrowing has surged to 595.16 billion Bangladeshi takas in the first four months of the current fiscal year, with most funds going towards central bank debt repayment, according to a Bangladesh bank Bank report. From July to October, 391.07 billion Bangladeshi takas was directed to debt payments, leaving net borrowing at 204.09 billion Bangladeshi takas for the period, a significant increase from a 31.82 billion taka deficit in the same time frame last year. A senior official attributes the rise to reduced revenue mobilization amid economic uncertainty and flood impacts across the country, prompting heavier reliance on bank borrowing to cover budget deficits. That's all for today. Thank you.